I mean, are y'all ready for y'all first edit? Yeah. All right, so we got a comedian coming up. So y'all make sure y'all show him all the love. Y'all give it up for Mike Matt coming up, doing his comic thing. Yeah, I don't the king of the DJ. He like the DJ. It's like, I don't know what we play. We got the chop, what we play. Oh, yeah, come in the city, go chop it. Yeah, like they're like some soup. Thank you for the sound. Skip, go stupid. Yeah, don't find it in here. 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 Can everybody hear me? Yeah. I'll move over here real quick. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming out again. And um, just so we're clear, that's all the music you're getting out of me. So um, <laughs> just to start off. But since it is around Christmas time, this is a musical thing. I did want to talk about a Christmas musical topic. So does everybody remember the song, Baby, It's Cold Outside? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That nice old jam with a nice tenor and alto. Baby, it's cold outside. So apparently that was taken out of all stores, right? And I didn't realize until like two weeks ago, because like normally when I walk into Walmart, you know, I avoid the craziness, I keep my headphones in. And uh, that was me. That was me. And uh, I, I didn't realize it, and then I went to work, and I talked to my coworkers about it. I was like, hey, you know, they took that baby is cold outside song got the stores? And then like, one of my coworkers instantly was like, Oh, you mean that song that sounds kind of rapey? I was like, huh? <laughs> huh? Because you know, when they say that, you really got to decide. Do I really want to defend this song I didn't write and get no money out of? <laughs> and I was like, what you mean? What you mean that it sounds kind of, kind of rapey? I, I just thought it was like really convincing. I was like, shoot, I want to stay over too. I didn't think it was that bad. He was like, yeah, did it, did it. And then it sound, it didn't sound rapey to you, Mike? But you, but you support me. I'm supporting Get It Convincing. And you know, Drinks and oh, what is drinks in the hand? But yeah, that was good. Cause I like the song. I thought it was a good song. It was nice, homie, and it had some good reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, baby, you got that black song. You know, it's 20 degrees outside. Oh, baby, you know, you got that short skirt on. Is that my kneecap? Girl, you got the other half of your leg out though. Mm, that's not good for snow. Mm. And you wearing them new heels that get your toes out. Stupid design, but you don't want your toes to be cold, baby girl. I just thought it was, I was good out there. And then they got to the point, because we actually played the song at work, you know, just so I could lose the argument or whatever. And, you know, then they got to one part where the lady was like, what did you put in this drink? I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, all right, listen, Bill Cosby might have produced this song, but, <laughs> but for the time being, it was a nice song, all right? <laughs> I mean, if a R. Kelly remix came out, then we might have to be working. Uh, good news, John Legend made a remix. That's, that's definitely good. It's definitely good. John Legend, he's like the nicest person in the world, I think. You, you never know. And I still turn this nowadays. E knew he was going to find something. <laughs> John Legend kicked him down. It was Christmas time. He was in the way. <laughs> he was trying to eat some chocolate. I tried to save it. But yeah, so I don't know. I was kind of sad about that, man. It is about to be Christmas time, so, you know, for kids, it's amazing. People over 18 that have jobs, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, a lot of my little cousins be coming around, like, what you getting me for Christmas? Sadly, they know I make money now, so I can't just be like, Merry Christmas no more, you know. That's, that's your present, Merry Christmas. All right, I can still talk, there you go. But yeah, man, Christmas list, that's something we gotta be making. You know, everybody got their Christmas list made and stuff like that. Everybody, you got your Christmas list made, everybody? You got your Christmas list made? Man, yeah, we, 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 we got our Christmas list. You gotta get on it. You gotta get on it. And we got for two weeks. Funny thing though is when you gotta make changes to your Christmas list. You ever had to pull that move? Or you actually thought about something? It's like, all right, that's, all, that's not a good idea. Yeah, like as a kid, I remember back in elementary school, I actually grew up with both my parents in my life, so like a lot of the hood kids didn't really like me, so. And I was like eight, I was like, all right, cool. On my Christmas list, I wrote down street credit. And then a friend of mine checked me, he was like, no, it's street credit. I was like, all right, well, what about the IT? He was 
said, nah, if you're going to ask for it, ask correctly. I said, like, all right, cool. Street cred, please. And then, this, you know, my dad saw it. He was like, you sure you want some street credit? I was like, yeah. I mean, you know, it seemed like the cool kids got it. I would like some of that, too. He was like, all right, then. And that night, he didn't feed me. I was like, what's going on? He was like, this is what you need for street credit. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll take privilege. Let's get back to it. I'll take privilege. Give me that steak. Come on, man. I love your pops. <laughs> and uh, a couple years later, I was like, shoot me. You know what else I want? I want some white privilege. That way I can wear my hoodies and feel safe. <laughs> yeah, a fun fact actually, this actually happened to me too. Um, right at the time of Trayvon Martin, after the trap, uh, I went out somewhere, I went to Walmart, and I had a hoodie on, and the guy was like, that's right, brother, remember Trayvon. And I was like, nah, it's cold. Ooh, no, no, that too, that too. But that's reason number two. First reason is because it's cold. I just want you to know that. I didn't want to take credit for something I didn't do. Right? <laughs> so, you know, I was like, sure, we're having some white privilege down here. Right and then none of my homies came up to me and was like, hey, uh, you know, if you get that, you're going to lose your inward privilege. I was like, hold on, wait. <laughs> I have a lot of black friends. I kind of need that. Um, you know what? I'll take that back. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm pretty sure I can say, like, please don't shoot me. That, that helps, I think. I don't know. <laughs> then, <laughs> Yeah, but your comic is like halfway through. Just let me, just let me finish. <laughs> so, uh, that was not planned, by the way. I just got skills. Uh, so, last thing I wrote more about Christmas was last year was uh, toxic masculinity. Somebody explained to me what that was, and I was like, hey, that's not like the thing I get lately. So, uh, let me see if I can get some of that. And then, like, everybody started cracking on people about toxic. So I was like, all right, never mind. Let me change it up to toxic femininity. That's a cool thing. Nobody get mad at the ladies. Toxic femininity is where it's at. And I also wrote down joggers, because, you know, like, joggers, joggers are those cool, like, gay, straight things. It's like bisexual pants, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, if I get joggers, I can get out of getting beat up and play. You know, somebody come up to me. If you do a bit at your hip, you know, it's kind of gay. So. I was like, I'm wearing joggers, they don't believe me. Hey, you got a problem? Huh? What did you say? You got a problem with gay people? What's up? Huh? Huh? I'll get Twitter on your ass right now. Mm, what you want, buddy? And then, since you got the joggers, all you got to do is pull them up a little bit. You know, that, that, that joke was cool with you, right? <laughs> Make sure you got to check it out, baby. <laughs> And as soon as you as walk away, I'm pulling pull the joggers up. I'm the joggers a little bit. You know, if you do a bend at your knee, it's kind of straight. So I was like, uh. So my friends would be like, Mike, what you doing? I'm just straightening it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just straightening it out. Hey, you can't act gay one second and then act straight the next second. Yes, I can, sir. It's my body, my choice. So <laughs> that's all I have for y'all tonight, man. I appreciate y'all, and I thank y'all for the love and support. All right, man. Thank you.